Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. Actually, welcome to my bedroom. We are all in self-isolation at the moment. I have my casual clothes on and I decided that I was going to go through my handbags and I haven't done a handbag collection probably for two or three years. It's been that long. So I have pulled them out, put them all on my bed and I'm going to organize them. I will show you later where I store my handbags, but I thought I'm going to go through them. I have my Westie here, Bell. So I think as I go through them, I might put them down here um, so that she can move around a bit more. So let's get going because I do have a few bags. Um, before I start, I'm just going to say I am a handbag addict. I have been even before I bought designer. I've always loved handbags from a little girl, from a teenager. And for me, these are all my girls. Um, I am particularly, I don't have to have, get, I don't get rid of bags. The only bag I've ever sold is the Artsy from Louis Vuitton. Just didn't suit my lifestyle. She didn't like me, I didn't like her. So I look at handbags like I look at my journey through life. I don't have to have the most um, on-trend bag. Of course, I like those as well. But I look at handbags as, um, uh, my journey and my journey through life with the bags I've bought and the memories. So having said that, let's get started. This is my Chanel double flap and I have had her for quite a few years and I remember I was working in retail and I saved and saved with my husband's help of course. Um, at the time I think I paid $7,000 for her. I think she's gone up again but she is beautiful and um, I have never regretted getting her even though she probably doesn't get used as much due to my lifestyle and that's what I think your lifestyle changes with your bags or just changes naturally so that's number one these are in no particular order as I said small bedroom trying to go through my bags so we will look at the second Chanel bag that I have which is the GST the grand shopping tote this bag is no longer available you'll have to get her on the pre-love market I probably use her more than the double flap now, but I love her. I love the gold hardware, so I've had her for quite a few years. Um, I think both of these bags, I'm going to try and remember, I think I both bought these in Melbourne. So they're both Melbourne bags. I buy a lot of my bags too when I go on holidays or for a special memory. That's number two. This one I have used and used. This is the little favourite in the Damier Azure by Louis Vuitton. It is the smaller one. It's the PM size there is an mm size i think it's still available correct me if i'm wrong but um i think if you're looking for a practical bag this bag is amazing i just have used this and used this so that one the next bag i have i don't know what the name of this one is i'll try if i don't know the name because my memory um, goes but if I don't know the name I'll leave it down below but this one I bought in Brisbane with my sales associate Antoine who was French and he was just gorgeous um, and this one I've never regretted I actually love this one I used to take this one or still do when I go to the markets or I want to wear a maxi dress and it just goes along with my boho look so much I must say, when I first started my collection, I only bought Louis Vuitton, so that's probably why there's probably more Louis Vuitton here, but my collection is growing. This one is one of the newest, I don't know if it's the new, well, it might be, one of the newer ones in my Louis Vuitton collection. Don't know the name of this, I'll leave this down below. The only thing that annoys me about this one, it's starting to live slightly here. Um, I haven't used her a lot, but I do remember that colour on there was called Sesame Bell. What are you doing? Sit, sit please. I will get rid of some bags for you soon, okay? All right. So that they all have straps. I store a lot of the straps um, inside of these and also a lot of these are stuffed as well. You right there, Belle? Okay, let mummy, let mummy move. Okay, let's grab this one. Can I please have this one? Okay, this is, I think it's called the Burberry bowling bag. I haven't used her a lot, but I still love her. I mean, tartan says Burberry and look at the colors and the leather amazing I think oh, I don't know if I bought it at a special event I can't remember I think I saw it at a special event so I'm going to try and use her more this in Brisbane I'm just gonna say I bought her in Brisbane I'm gonna try and use her a bit more um, this winter is that better Belle is it is that better okay let's grab this one this is my Lily Mulberry bag yeah Mulberry bag and I bought her in the UK 
I must say that I do research my bags a lot. So when I, and I usually get one or two a year, um, I used to buy a lot more at one stage, but I have such a collection now. So I buy, if I'm after a bag, every bur my birthday I get one, um, or around about that period. I do a lot of research and I get online, I have a look at all these bags. So this one I remember researching for quite a while. I always wanted a mulberry bag. When my kids were younger, I thought oh, my aim is to get a mulberry bag. I loved it. I wanted the traditional, I can't remember what that traditional one's called, but um, I wanted the traditional one. And then when I got to the UK, I saw the lily and I just love this color. So it's another one I love. I use her quite a bit. Back to Louis Vuitton. And this is the Speedy 30. And this is in the Demier Abin print. And you can, I need to clean up her locket there. Um, that cleans up quite well with Brasso. So once again, and this is the bandolier one, the one with the strap, the straps inside her. She's so good to use in um, the rain. The key pull, this is the key pull. I think I got her in Brisbane as well. Oh, I got the Speedy, forgot to say the Speedy 30 in Brisbane. This one I got in Brisbane and I love her. I like to take her on a lot of um, international trips or interstate. My husband doesn't like her at all, but um, she's great, she's stuffed. Okay, what do we have? Uh, this one my husband bought me in Las Vegas when he was on a business trip or a, what do you call it? You know, over there with workmates. Um, I used to use this a lot. This is the Neverfall, don't know what the print is, but um, it was before they had the pouches in them, so she's stuffed. They're all stuffed. Um, <laughs> this is the Alma bag. Love her, and in um, this grey sort of silver, can't remember what they call her, but um, she's one of my favourites too because I just love the colour. And who, you can't go wrong with an Alma bag. If you're after a bag, classic bag from Louis Vuitton, Alma would be up there as well as the Speedy. And the never fall. Put that one there. Okay, this one I got in Brisbane. Uh, it was a VIP day with Antoine at Louis Vuitton. There was champagne, there was uh, macaroons. It was a really good day. I think it was um, on how to pack you know, the Louis Vuitton luggage. So this is a Noe bag, which is I think the smaller one in the epi leather. And this one is a really, I don't use her a lot, but she's really easy. You think things would get lost in her but they don't they sort of seem to sit really well so and as most people know the history on this is the champagne bottles that fit in this bag and this one is I think the Pechette Matisse the strap is inside this is a well-known bag um, I remember I took some bags back um, Louis Vuitton went through a stage where they had bags um, where some of the leather and everything had melted and it was actually a design flaw uh, so we were able to take them back and get a credit note they were really good I must admit they actually had no trouble so this was a replacement for the two bags I took back and I remember this was so fashionable at the time and I wasn't looking 100% after it. I was just trying to replace the bags, you know, because as you can, I need another bag in my life. You can never have too many. Uh, so I saw this and I thought, mm, may as well grab it. And yet, look, I'm so glad I did because it's a very, very practical bag. So if anyone is thinking about that, it comes in um, the different leathers now, the different colours. Uh, I think the two-toned as well. So this one has been a really good bag. My only Prada girl, I don't know the name of this bag, but um, she has, I bought this in Sydney when I was visiting a friend quite a few years ago. I've never regretted it. I think um, someone said this looked like an old lady bag. Well, I don't care. I'm an old lady then. As I said, part of my history, I just think she's very classic. I don't know if she's really an old lady bag. I think she's just a very classic bag. It's sort of a torpy gray color, which goes with a lot of things. running out of space down there and my first bag this is my first Louis Vuitton I'll never get rid of her she's a sully girl this is no longer available 
Um, I, I am a boho girl, but I was a really a boho girl then. When I got her, I bought her in New York. It's my first trip to New York, or my second trip, I can't remember. I think my second trip, my husband's saying yes behind the camera. Um, but my first, first designer bag, and I remember working in retail and getting so excited and researching. Um, the thing is, when I bought this bag, I didn't get it for Fifth Avenue. I ended up getting my artsy bag, which I sold. Um, but I remember thinking, if you're ever going to get a Louis Vuitton bag, do go and like have the experience. I remember saying, oh, I'll have that one, th thanks, and then buying it and then going out of the store because I think I was so overwhelmed. Um, so uh, it was still good. But I said to a friend, if you're ever going to buy a bag, do the whole experience. Like have a look at five things, six things, even though you might know what you want, um, and get it. But I went in straight away and I got her. And she is, um, she's a special bag in my collection because New York, I adore New York and I'm really feeling for them at the moment with the coronavirus. So that's the Sully Girl. I probably deviated away there, but that's what my mind does. Uh, what have we got here? Let me just get these. Oh, hi Belle. Hi Belle Belle. Let's get these ones at the front. Can mummy have these bags please? Good girl. All right. Sorry, you're, oh, oh, you've got bags all around you. Are you okay with that? Are you okay? Okay, let me just grab this one. Okay, this is another Louis Vuitton bag. I remember I was working when I got this and I wanted a black bag. This is the Bria bag in the Epi leather. She's very hard, but um, she's good to take if it's raining or you just want to throw her around because this bag just, it doesn't, it's indestructible just about. I might have to start putting them back over here now. I've run out of room. Okay, so this one is my Gucci bag. This was a birthday bag, oh, maybe four years ago, forgotten, but it is the classic saddle bag, bamboo handle one. Not too sure of the official name, but she's gorgeous. Uh, I must admit this bag is really, really good quality. And my latest wallet on a chain Gigi supreme wallet on a chain can remember that because i got her she's my last buy basically so she's beautiful and at the moment i am using her my beautiful beautiful marcy girl i love the marcy girl this has a story as well i went on holidays i went to new york UK and then on to Paris and I knew I was going to buy this bag. I had wanted this bag for ages. Short story or the long, yeah the short story is I already had the wallet that I got on another trip in New York and I really couldn't afford this bag and then I went off it and then I came back on it and I'm like I'm so glad. She would have to be one of my favourite bags in my collection, the Marcy bag, so boho. Um, watch my video on which bag would I be if I was a bag. This is her, the Marcy. I love the tan as well. From Chloe, did I say that? This is another Chloe bag. Now, I got this on the same trip, but I think I got this. No, different trip. My husband's saying memories. I got this in Italy. Italy. Okay, I got this in Rome. <laughs> he's, he's, he's behind the camera he's saying yeah Rome I got this in Rome after let me see All right, oh, after getting this baby so this baby came first and I can't remember the name of this bag anyway I'll leave that down below I love this bag I wanted this bag this bag is not the most practical bag but you know what never get rid of it I still love her I think she's just so boho I like that it's like the gold and silver hardware and the suede isn't the best. I've already got a mark on her. But um, she's just beautiful. I do love this bag. Another Chloe bag. Um, I tend to like Chloe bags, I think, because they are more boho. They just speak to me a bit more. So let's put that one over here. Is it the Chloe Faye? It might be the Chloe Faye bag. That's the Chloe Faye bag. And it was in um, some funny colour, mottled grey or something. Okay, this one is, as I said, got this um, in Italy, in Rome, and this is called the Roy Mini Bucket Bag. Now, this bag, I think, was on special because of the colour, and I really thought I wouldn't get a lot of use out of this because it is mini, 
but it does have this larger strap and it does um, have this gusset here which extends the space and um, I haven't used it for quite a well, you know, a month or so but um, I get a lot of use out of this bag because it just fits just these the little things that you need in it and I can just take it over my shoulder and I don't have to be too precious so that one I would use a lot more than what I thought I would. Okay back to this was a replacement the same time that I got the Pachette Matisse because I needed to replace a bag. So I love red and this is the Speedy, I think it's the 25 in the Empreint leather and she is beautiful. It has the strap inside. I love this pocket here. I got an A on it for Ada on the front. So she's pretty special. Okay, this bag is been used and used and used it does have the pouch in it let me see where's the pouch yes it has the pouch so this is the epi leather in the navy blue not too sure what they call it i just call it blue navy blue um this one is in epi did i say that and i got this when we flew to sydney and it was a vip and they showed us all behind the scenes of louis vuitton the leathers hanging up the men's shoes they had champagne my husband bought a couple of ties um, I can't remember what else I got, but I got that and something else, I believe. So that one. This bag I used and used. I got this in Melbourne on a trip to Melbourne many years ago. My son or our son lived in Melbourne. So this was an early birthday present. I think I got it in January. Um, this is the Avora Girl. No longer available. Uh, you'd have to buy it on the pre-love, but this bag is so practical. It has the zip for travel the strap and you can hand help hold it so a very very practical bag and I did put an A on it for Ada that that's actually from Chloe I think I got that in Singapore my Longsham bag which I use with my doggies now my two Westies um, it's that vinyl just wipes over it's a really it's been a really good buy and second last bag is my Burberry bag it's got a dirty mark there that's actually the front of it. So in the pink with the um, Burberry check on the side. And my last one, which was my birthday just gone in February. The queen of my collection is the Fendi baguette in this beautiful pink color. So that is all my collection for now. And I will do, this is not, I've got small leather goods and I've got scarves and everything, but I'll do that in another video. So. I'm going to show you now where I store my bags. So come with me and have a look. But don't forget, everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye. So this is where I store my handbags. So I've just put them back. It's hard because each bag's a different size. So I want it all the same color or the same designer. It doesn't sort of work out that way. So I've just turned them on the side. I've stored some up the top. These ones up the top, more especially the never full, can be wiped down. And the key ball has to go up there. But um, I also have these drawers, which I still haven't finished um, putting everything away. But I'll just show you. I've got a Chloe bag in there, the favourite from Louis Vuitton, and my Gucci. So I will eventually, when I get more bags, probably store more down there as well. So that's basically how I store them. I like all my bags out on show without any dust bags. I do keep all the dust bags and occasionally put them in there if I need to travel or anything. But that's how I store them because if I can't see them, I won't use them. If you like this video, please subscribe, push like and follow me on Instagram. And don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye.